video is about deciding which unique to trash. Uh, credit to my wife who picked this title for me during dinner today. Um, okay, so before I go on, I understand some of you are very particular over the accuracy of the information I you know this, uh, uh, share here because yeah, I mean I don't want to confuse you guys with them, something that may not be hundred percent correct. But it, this video, please forgive me because this is a guideline for me in particularly to make certain decisions really fast. It's not meant to be a science here, right? And the, uh, so by no means it's a hundred percent accurate. It works for average gear like me, having all the blessing, having the uh, you know uh, all the jazz, but may not be at the max max roll because when you're at the max roll, your hero actually at a different spectrum. The trade off works at a slightly differently at that tier. But when you're at that tier, you probably don't need to do trade off because everything you have is max gear, right? Max roll. So. Um, if you really want the golden truth, you, you have to go through a number yourself. There's no shortcut to it, all right? So there's no uh, fast way to say, oh, okay, this one is definitely better than the other one. May not, but, uh, but uh, this video is not about that. So please understand and uh, you know, that I'm just here to help, help you decide quickly what to do, all right? Um, for those who may have left the game for some time and now coming back, you may want to know that uh, there's, you can hold the Alt key when you do a mouse over to your unique to see the range of the affixes. And uh, with that, you probably can decide 90% of the time whether you should keep this unique or not because that will give you a nice range on those stats that is relevant to you. All right? so, so that is basically what you need to uh, know. The first thing you need to know, hold the Alt key. And, the, uh, and also, the game has a certain mechanic to, to, to the behind the scenes. So, just would like to reiterate mainly for the new players, when you see 40 damage rating, that become 1% damage. All right? uh, so, whatever number, say 915 damage rating I have over there, that one divided by 40 is the percentage that is, will be added on top of the normal damage. All right? that, that would increase uh, my my power, not by 1%, all right, uh, but uh, the added 1% to it, all right, so it's not multiply, add, add onto it. Uh, when you see 80 crit damage rating, that translates to, again, 1%, so it is different. The, uh, the damage rating and the crit damage rating uh, is it, different, so you, you can't really compare, say, look at my, this game bit uh, unique, you can't really compare 412 damage rating to melee power versus the 1260 crit damage rating, and, and say, oh, is it like uh, 1 to 1? It's not, it is, uh, it's actually one, 1 to 2, all right? So that is, uh, also remember, when you see crit damage rating, it affect both the crit and the brutal region because brutal is also a, also a crit, but it's a crit of a crit. So, um, so that one percent uh, is going to affect both the your score sheet of the hero in both the crit damage rating and the brutal damage rating. When you mouse over at the hero score sheet, you can see a percentage that is being added there. When you see eighty brutal rate damage rating, it is again one percent brutal damage rating. Uh, it only affect at that region whereby it, you crit and you brutal, right? So that that is how you how you look at things. So to help you a little bit, so when you see uh, so you know one thousand two hundred sixty crit damage rating, one thousand one hundred forty three brutal damage rating there, then you know the crit damage rating actually is more valuable because that actually apply to both the crit and the brutal region. The brutal only at the brutal region, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it's not at all obvious. It doesn't give you a percentage. It should, right? Okay, um, when, when, when you have two unique of the same type within the same grade, uh, sometimes one unique may have a higher rank the other, lower damage rating than the other. Maybe it comes with a challenge affix, challenge point like plus one fighting or plus one uh, strength. How do you do trade off, right? Uh, this is not exact science. From my observation, from my experience, when you when you plus one to all power, is roughly about three hundred and twenty damage rating. How do I do that? Is about two percent damage uh, increase, and uh, to drive the two percent damage re uh, increase for a four hundred percent normal damage kind of type of hero, which is about average gear. That's why I say average gear, right? It requires you to have about 320 damage rating. That's what it does. Um, 
what you can do uh, to test this out is that uh, you can take a ring, uh, one of the cosmic ring, the, green, the yellow one, with some of the stacks that's totally useless, not relevant to your hero, uh, equip it and unequip it, and notice the difference on your, on your power. It should increase or decrease by 1-2%. to 2%. And the, uh, so yeah, I mean that, so that is that's one thing that you should uh, also validate. And another thing is that you know to increase that one to two percent, like I mentioned, you need to have about three hundred twenty damage rating to drive it. But that's assuming that your average gear like me, all right. But if you are at a much higher tiers, then of course that has to you know uh, adjust accordingly, all right. Um, so you 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 see sometimes you need to have plus one rank to all power, so that's easy, right? But sometimes you say plus one rank to all power within the tree because you know all heroes have three trees so my gambit also have uh, like you know three trees and uh you know you you probably may not have done the mathematics that's okay uh but you probably have a feel as in like um, you know which power is where your main tree is normally your spam the one that you you have a spender the one that you keep spamming or the filler whatever you call it the power that you know that you keep hitting with uh, whichever tree that has the power usually is the main tree that you have. That particular tree, uh, it will be around around two third of the three hundred twenty, right? So because two third of the part damage output come from usually the main tree that you have. To make it simple, all right. So uh, plus one rank to all power. Usually I think about about it as a three hundred damage rating. Plus one rank to power on the main tree. I look at it as two hundred damage rating around there, two hundred ish, all right. Uh, so if it's not in the main tree, it's in the tree where but I still do damage, but not the main tree, I take uh, 100 damage rating, one third of it, right? If it is on a tree where by it's really nothing there, like, you know, like Doctor Doom, I don't, I, I'm a non-specialization, uh, no pets, uh, no summoner, I still have, pet, I have a passive on the other side, but, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it is not that important to me, in, relatively, in this whole damage model, right? So you should know your hero to know which tree is important to you, just adjust it accordingly. Either take 200 or take 100 or take zero, your pick, all right? Um, I also, from my experience, you, you know that I always go through a lot of numbers when I play this game, and I observe that the main spender usually is around one third of the uh, you know, damage come from the main spender, uh, maybe more, maybe less, around there. So uh, again, when I see a plus rank, plus one rank to my main spender, my eyes usually lead up like, you know, okay, so that is a good thing, that's important, right? Because that would translate to um, about 100 damage rating per rank, if I want to do it that way. Um, so that's why a lot of people ask me what to, uh, what, what to use for your power cube. Then I always say that, well, I mean, it depends on which, which main spender you are, right? Uh, because you always want to increase the rank of the main spender, uh, at least if you know, power A, power B, power C, then if I, if I'm free to pick, I always pick the one that is a uh, is main spender because a lot of my damage come from that particular power, all right? Um, plus one strength, energy, mental is equal, not approximately, equal to 160 damage rating, provided that you're pure damage type. If you're hybrid, please go and, uh, you know, um, adjust it accordingly. Like, for instance, my, uh, my Doctor Doom is uh, maybe 50% on, uh, on energy, then I take 80 uh, damage rating, all right? So, so that, you can do it yourself uh, just to approximation right all this approximation not exact science here right uh, plus one fighting is 120 damage rating so what with all this in place you can roughly compare you know like uh, you know, sometimes you're stuck in a situation whereby you gain some but you lose some so at least you can compare quickly but if you gain in all all important affixes then yeah i mean that is an easy decision you don't need to think about all this all right so um Sometimes you need to trade off between damage rating, crit damage rating, and crit hit rating. Um, again, this is not exact science, just a guideline, something I use. Uh, you can look at the costume affix budget um, wise, or the max rule. One damage rating is about 3.33 crit damage rating. And the, uh, given the fact that crit damage rating is always the better one to choose, so I just take it conservatively, one to three. All right, not exact science. I think that should cover any uh, discrepancy there. Uh, crit hit rating is a little bit hard to justify because you do have diminishing return. The higher your crit, uh, the less this will impact on it. But uh, I always look at it like a one-to-one -one kind of thing. You know, if I have to trade off between uh, 100 uh, damage rating or 150 crit, damage, uh, crit hit rating, then maybe 100 crit rate, hit rating is pretty good because 
you know, it's a one-to-one. -one. But if I'm already at a very high uh, uh, crit region, then I may want to think twice before I make that decision because I have diminishing return, that's all. And by means of association, one crit hit rating is about three uh, crit uh, damage rating, but that's really merely from, you know, from the, uh, you know, by association, no exercise. Quick guideline, right? Quick guideline. Um, some of you may have watched my video on gearing for summoner, uh, and I, I made some really bold um, you know, statements saying that yeah, you can you can trade off one percent of damage rating to two percent of uh, summon ally damage, and I'm really happy to see that. Look at uh, after that, Doctor Doom was released, and uh, look at the way the specialization buff is going on. It is showing that you know uh, uh, that kind of trade off as well, one to two, right? Uh, because the specialization for the pets and the non pets is about twenty five versus fifty. So it's one to two. Uh, so what I mean is that uh, if you have a gear whereby it has both the summon ally damage versus uh, also damage rating, uh, then you probably would like to convert your damage rating divided by 40, that one's a percentage, and see what gain or loss you have on the summon ally damage to make that decision. Again, not exercise, but it's worth for you to take a look. Uh, bear in mind that damage rating is being scaled up as you upgrade your unique, while summon ally damage doesn't. Another consideration there, all right? Okay, uh, something to watch out for as well, because you know all these things talking about uh, uh, DPS damage uh, output, which is fine, because you want to look for a better gear uh, for you to see results. But please, please, please remember health. A lot of you, you know, uh, come back and tell me that oh you know I try your hero and you said so much great thing about it and but I keep dying in cosmic terminal or you know uh, patrol then you should ask so, so can you tell me what's the health like and oh yeah you know then you realize that you know for, for my build to work or for any hero to work uh, you need to have a good level of health now what is good level of health of course varies from hero to hero uh, but if you feel that you are struggling uh, to achieve certain thing in in the game because you keep having to get defeated or you know you have to keep kiting or mad key or whatnot then you're probably doing too much on the dps while you're sacrificing a lot of health if you look at the unique right some of the unique especially the hero unique right the gap is very high you may lose up to 1000 health so like for instance i can look at one one of them is like, oh i get one plus one rank for all my power uh, I, I, you know, uh, within the main tree, I say, whoa, that's good news, but I lose 1,000 health to it. And usually when that happens, I will not pick the, 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 I will always, always keep the health because in order to get the 1,000 health, which is very real, you can, you can, you can check it out. Some of this gear, the, the gap is so huge. You, you know how many points you need to invest in Omega system to get the 1,000 health? How many, you know, uh, uh, insignia or whatever that you have to, um, you know, just to sacrifice the DPS for the health. Um, so if the unique come with the health, pick that. Um, that there's, there's no negotiation there. Go for the health um, and, and you have a better life. Trust me on that. So health is important. Spirit sometimes is, sometimes it's not, depending on whether you're struggling or not. All right. So uh, I, I don't really pay too much attention on spirit when it comes to gear to gear comparison, but health is important. Okay, uh, yeah, so get a good health gear and after that, hope to you know, get better, better affixes. If you drop by two, three hundred, yeah, that's fine. But anything 500 kind of thing is my threshold. Anything that requires me to drop more than 500, I really, really need to think you know, before I commit to that. All right. Uh, also pay attention sometimes the damage stacks. So when you compare the, some of the affixes, I've seen like, you know, oh yeah, I mean, uh, the difference is not really a lot, maybe 70, but guess what? It's that to five times, so it becomes 350, right? So uh, some damages, some damage affix actually stacks. So bear, bear in mind when you have that, uh, make sure you multiply by whatever stacks it is. Okay, uh, signature usually is good for burst, but not for overall DPS. You've seen it from my videos before, time and time again, you look at the, the DPS of the signature, because of the long cooldown, the signature is not great, but it's good for burst. So I will not go uh, too, too, too deep into putting a plus one rank to my signature versus plus one rank to my spender. If, you have to, if, you have, if I had to trade off between the two like that, I'll definitely pick my spender anytime. If, you know, uh, 
and and if one gets you know better much better damage rating like you know maybe a hundred or two hundred bet uh, damage ratings especially for slot one versus I again uh, one one uh, one rank of signature I would never take the signature signature is nice but usually it's just you know, uh, just for burst, all right? Uh, sometimes you can swap the gear to observe the tool tip uh, or uh, the power tip to see whether they increase or not. Because like, for instance, some gear say, okay, you know, I, I gain on physical damage, but I, but I lose on some of the ranks, you know, a lot of ranks I'm losing. So, but it, the damage rating looks good. So should I go through the mathematics? No, you don't need to, you don't need to do that. You just swap it out, swap it in, see whether the number increase or decrease. Uh, and then you can make the judgmental call. Um, if if overall all your tool set power is increased, take it. But if uh, if it, if it is a decrease overall, then take a look at is it because of the much increase on the crit damage rating side of it to make the decision. All right. Okay. Uh, as you may know, unique can be upgraded from sixty three to sixty six and then sixty nine. All right. Um, you can go to Odin Palace. At the south of it, there's a raid vendor to get the recipes to upgrade your unique. And it is totally worth it to upgrade once you have the recipe. Upgrade any unique that you have. You feel good about your unique, upgrade to 63, to 66, to 69. The number gets scaled up. It is not a reroll. So if you have a very good unique, it will be even more fantastic when it goes to 66 region. All right, so don't worry about it. A lot of people ask me, should I be you know, upgrading because you know, will I lose my goodness? No, you don't. Uh, it will get better. So when you upgrade a grade 63 unique to 66, all the stacks are being scaled up. If you see a power rank, uh, say plus one to power A, it becomes plus two. All right, so the power rank goes up by one. Very nice. Uh, but those that say all power, meaning that uh, all uh, plus one to all power within the tree or plus one to all powers uh, those will not be increased at all those will remain as it is any percentage based statistics like the uh, uh, chance to proc certain things like the summon ally damage those will remain at the percentage will not get increased any attribute from my i, I don't have all that you need to you know to, to to observe but from my observation any Unique that has plus one strength or plus two fighting, whatnot, as the attribute, will not get increased uh, when you upgrade to 66, 63 to 66, all right? When you come to 60, uh, sorry, when you upgrade to 66 to 69, just, uh, just uh, bear in mind, this uh, 69, sorry about that. And the, um, when you upgrade to 69, then you add one rank to the power of fixes. Again, you know, like, uh, plus, plus uh, power A, then plus, plus one to that power A, all right? And also, any any rank, any affixes with the all power uh, to the tree, all power to all power, uh, those you will get add a one to it as well, all right? So, uh, like the, the other upgrade, all the stats have been scaled up except the percentage base affixes and attributes, all right? So, so, uh, so sometimes when you need to compare the 63 unique to 69, I have to mentally decrease the power rank by two and the dose all power by one. And I have to mentally adjust some of these number to do a comparison. At, at least I compare the ranks first. If the rank doesn't fly, then there's no point for me to do any more uh, calculation normally, unless the, uh, you know, my 69 unique, the damage rating is quite low. Uh, but uh, so first of all, you know, I, I do a calculation compare ranks, that's what I do. And if the rank is comparable, then I look at the damage rating. And sometimes I may want to take it to 69 just to compare between the two, apple to apple, all right? Um, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's useful for the new player who are quite new to this game. Unique is, is, is the, the currently one of the highest tier of uh, gears that we have in Marvel Heroes. Uh, you know, remember you are not hunting for the best here. You are actually trying to see which one is the better of the two. So don't sweat about it. Even if you make mistake here and there, it doesn't matter. You'll get a better gear somehow, some somewhere, you know. Uh, don't need to get too stressed like, oh my God, should I be keeping this or not? If you think too much on it, just throw a dice, take a pick. I mean, I, I didn't say that. I mean, you know, you know go through some of this, uh, you know, thinking I have got it, you know, I, I've, I've shared with you, go through some of those, uh, you know, uh, uh, comparison and then you can you can make a decision between two and if you really stuck and it's there or two don't know what to do just 
you know, take a leap of faith, man. Uh, that's all I can I can share with you. And uh, well, I mean, have a great day. Enjoy the uh, second year anniversary still running. Week three and week four is coming, so I don't know what we're gonna get. Um, I hope it's something great. Bye.